Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi my name is Nancy and I make videos here and there, uh, but it has been a hot minute. And today is going to be more of a sit down, talk through video. I've never done one of those before. Usually I'm doing my makeup or cooking or doing something like that, but <sighs> I feel like we gotta talk. Um, this morning I actually got a notification and somebody had asked where did she go? She disappeared and truthfully I have gone MIA and I did it for myself because I just felt that social media had become a very toxic and a very dark place not just for me but I noticed that a lot of other creators were going through hot messes too i feel like and personally for me my platform has never been negative it's never been a hateful uh environment everybody who has followed me has genuinely supported me and i've of course i'm gonna get trolls and stuff like that but it was more so we're still human, so even though at night we're still going to sleep and we're still going to wake up despite what anybody says, we're still human. So at the moment being, reading comments or just getting, I, I say harassed because that's how I felt like. Getting questions that I purposely was not answering for my personal reasons was just getting overwhelming getting on live and just getting asked all these questions that I was still trying to figure out. And I would get messages like, we want to know, we want to know, I, I get it. I mean, I, I'm a chismosa too. I want to know things, but I'm also not going to invade somebody's personal space for my own curiosity. I really feel like I'm going to be running out of breath because I'm going to be all over the place. I didn't rehearse what I was going to say. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna say. We're just gonna kind of talk and just, you guys might even think, wow, she really didn't say anything. I just wanna choose what I share. And I know that I am the one who shared a lot of the stuff that I was going through. And I know that I made that decision. And I know that I am a social media creator. And I know that that comes with hate, that comes with opinions, that comes with all of these things, that's fine. You have the right to have your opinion. I have the right to have mine, but I don't have to accept yours and I don't have to tolerate any negativity. You know what I mean? So even though people are going to talk, good or bad, no matter if you're doing great, bad, whatever it is, it's just, it, it is what it is. You can't control people or anything. And it's just been a lot going on in my life. Sometimes I do like sit down and I think to myself, like, where did you go wrong? I try not to be emotional because I don't want this video to be about that. And I'm also not doing this for petty or anything. I just cannot control like my emotions. I haven't talked about this out loud. Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to even finish this freaking video. In my life, I've felt that I always wanted to do things right so everything was always just like the right the right the right it's crazy because life is nothing at all what you think it is and i've realized now that you can have all these plans in your life but god is always gonna have like a whole different plan and sometimes it's not gonna make sense and sometimes you're gonna question so many things and you're just going to feel lost you're going to feel like everything's going wrong but at the end things are going to work out the way they need to work out and i guess my biggest fear was being wrong and i've always had a lot of pressure growing up especially you know coming from parents who have sacrificed their life for you, you kind of always want to do the best that you can. I'm just gonna pretend this is alive, okay? So that way it's just, it just comes out and I don't have to like keep going back and forth. And I'm just gonna say this super quick so you guys kind of get the idea moving forward of why I'm so emotional. 
I'm pregnant. I am so happy. It's all I ever wanted. I'm so emotional because obviously my hormones. What I was saying earlier about sometimes. Come on, Nancy. Get it together. We're not going to be here crying the whole time, right? But um, what I was saying earlier about like me questioning myself. Where did I go wrong? This is the only thing in my life that I know is right. So in the beginning, I didn't want to talk about it, um, not because I was ashamed, not because um, it wasn't what I wanted. <sighs> the moment that I found out, I was so happy. It felt so surreal. Um, there's absolutely nothing, even moving, fo moving forward, nothing at all, anything that can ever make me regret my pregnancy nothing that can ever make me not want my child i've always wanted to be a mom i felt like i always made the right decisions in my life and i felt like i always thought that i was doing the right thing you know like following all the principios that i was taught and i was always doing this and that and i wanted my life to be perfect and everything that i shared was genuine it was not ever um make believe in my head anyways this is what i was seeing myself you know and i don't know why things happen the way that they do sometimes but they do and i've realized as i'm pushing through my life journey because this is my journey after all is that i know that things that i never thought that i would go through or that i would tolerate or that i would lived through i've lived it through when i found out that i was pregnant it was like literally the only thing in my whole life that made sense it was the only thing in my life that felt right and i didn't want to share it when i found out for obvious reasons and i also wanted to have a safe pregnancy because my mental health and my baby's health is my priority overall uh, there's going to be a, probably a lot of questions and a lot of assumptions. And there's a lot of things that I don't even think I'll ever talk about. So I think like the biggest thing is just respecting that. The biggest mistake was feeling that I owed people an explanation. That's always been one of my biggest things is that I always feel like I got to explain myself. I don't know why I always have felt that way. And I shouldn't feel that way. I know it's going to feel better talking about certain things, such as announcing my pregnancy. I have been wanting to talk to you guys so much about baby stuff, what to do. I'm, it's my first time being a mom, and I'm so excited. I couldn't really talk about it before because there was a lot going on in my life. I just recently lost my grandma, which is... Another reason why I'm emotional as well. I don't want this whole video to be emotional, but it's it's a raw video. It's at the moment, it's how I feel. Before recording this, I was super emotional because all I could think about was not being able to be there for my grandma or for my mom at the time being because of my pregnancy. We decided that it was probably better um, that I not go just because, you know, exposing myself to a lot of um, grief and a lot of stress. And it's been hard because it's the last thing that I talked to my grandma about. I, I told her that I was pregnant because I actually hadn't told anybody, even my family. There's so many family members that I haven't even told. Uh, or there's like people that I hadn't even told yet. There's friends and if you're seeing this and you're my friend, I'm sorry. It's I've been wanting to tell you in person and I know that you know who you are. I've been meaning to tell you. I've been meaning to like hang out with you and go on lunch with you. But for whatever reason, it's never happened. And I didn't ever want to say it through text. I've been wanting to tell everybody in person. But anyways, I know that we're all busy. And so anyways, um... I was talking to my grandma and this was, I want to say a few days before she passed or a week before and she was good. That's why it's kind of, I mean, we knew that her health was deteriorating, but 
she was good on the phone when I talked to her and I told her that I was pregnant and she was happy told her that I wanted her to meet our baby and she said see Dios and it didn't happen so there's just been a lot and whenever I cry I feel bad because I don't want the baby to be sad my sisters make fun of me because i'm always looking at my app and i'm just taking advice from my app and i always tell them my baby can feel it my baby can hear it and i just want the best for our baby that's just what i want i know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions and I'm going to try to answer as much because I know you're going to be like, then what's the point? Why tell us if you don't want to talk about it? I'm so excited overall. Aside all the sadness and aside all the negativity and all the obstacles in my life, I am currently in, in a good place because I am pregnant and it makes me very, very happy. I always felt that I was a strong person, but I knew I wasn't. I just said that, you know, to make myself feel better. But being pregnant and realizing that I'm going to be a mom has given me so much strength. And it's actually, it's the reason why I decided, you know what, Nancy, you can't let the opinions of other people control your life. You can't allow other people that you don't even know control your life because of what they think, because of what they think is best for your life or that you should be doing or should not be doing. This is my life and ultimately all the mistakes in my life, I am going to face the consequences for. You're not, nobody else is. Everything that goes right or wrong, I have to deal with, nobody else does. Besides the point, I have learned a lot. I have learned that you never know where you're going to <coughs> by the way if i uh, if you notice that i have gum in my mouth i get nauseous throughout the entire day so i have to have gum in my mouth and this is the only water that i love a lot so i had to order some of these I feel that perhaps this video is almost going to be pointless, but I hope that it's not because the main um, point of this was just announcing our pregnancy. Social media is so hard. I mean, or all before this chapter, I, it was just me. So it was easy to, you know, talk about me, me, me. But bringing somebody else in the picture, it's like so different i never talked about other people before it was always just me 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 and that's when it can get chaotic which is why i need to think about what i want to post what i don't want to post and stuff like that for my own sanity in reality overall i do plan on becoming more active again now that you guys know and just sharing my first time mom experiences with you guys and sharing all the happiness with you guys as well i want to say that you guys get what's going on overall and i hope that you guys are able to still support me and not judge me and, and even if you don't support me or you're not happy for me it's okay not everybody will be there for you and that's okay the people you know that will be there for me i will appreciate and i those are the only people that i will need you know depending on the comments or or negativity that i may potentially get i don't know it'll determine uh if i leave my comments disabled or active i don't know I really do need to protect my energy so any negativity i will block it i will not tolerate it i don't want you guys to feel like you're walking on eggshells with me um, but Hopefully you're able to kind of read the room and read in between the lines, I hope. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video where we can chit chat more about detail symptoms, uh, how far along am I, the sex of the baby, you know, questions like that. I want you guys to feel comfortable with me still, even if I decide I'm not sharing certain things in my life anymore or being so open about things. There's still some boundaries that I want to set. I feel that I didn't set boundaries before, even with myself. 
So hopefully you're able to support me and share this happiness with me because I am so happy, you guys. So thank you again and until next time.